What's up guys, your boy Alan Lee back again with another video and over here I have my Graphtech CE7000. A lot of you guys saw the unboxing and you guys are waiting for me to actually use the machine. The truth is I've been so busy with all my other machines that I didn't have the chance to get around to it but now I finally dove into it and I finally have some understanding of how it works and I will tell you it is challenging. If you thought everything else had a learning curve, this thing right here is no different. But when you get it, if you get it, you will fall in love with cutting vinyl all over again. It's so fast, it makes things super easy, but it is a little complicated to get up and running. And those of you guys that have it can vouch for me in the comments down below. Was it simple to you or was it, you know, a little bit tedious, right? So uh, let's try to show you some things that might help the journey easier for you boom wait a minute just like that boom 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 just like that hey, 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 productions just like that like comment subscribe just like that boom wait a minute just like that hey dub you ready wait a minute not really sure exactly what i want to show you guys with this video but i'm just going to go uh, do an overview of the machine and i'm going to show you the machine cutting and tell you some of the difficulties that you might have getting started. Not difficulties with the functionality of the machine, but difficulties you might have getting started. Okay, so first of all, this lever, make sure this is up. You can move these pinch, this, this, this is the cutter right here, right? And you can move this. You can also move these wheels as long as they're not locked down. All right, so this is the graph tech. This is the control panel right here. And behind it, there's a lever to make the wheels go down and up just like the cameo when you put the lever up the wheels go down when you put the wheel back the wheels go up all right what i didn't know was these little marks right here these little blue marks the wheels have to be below these blue marks for it to work correctly all right so in other words this wheel right here has to be underneath here, anywhere in between here for it to work properly. The reason being there's pinch grips down below that grips the vinyl, so on and so forth. This has to be down here, or I can move this to underneath this one, pinch grips right here, or over here. This is the 24 inch, by the way, the 24 inch graph tech, all right? So this will have to be down here or I can move this wheel underneath here. As long as they line up, the wheels line up um, in some type of order underneath these blue things, right? And this is the cutter head unit right here, all right? This is the part that actually does the cutting. That's a whole nother can of worms and a whole nother ball game getting this set up. But I'm gonna roll out some videos one by one showing you guys how to do this, all right? But Initially, I just want to show you guys um, how fast it cuts and the benefits of using it. Also, I want to probably bri briefly go over the menu system because that's complicated. All right, so let me show you guys the back of it. So this is the lever right here I'm telling you, I was telling you about. When you put this lever up, the wheels go down, put it down, it disengages the wheel. So it's a real huge lever right here. And right below that, you got some rails that you sit your vinyl on sit your vinyl on these rails and they they roll nice and freely and when you sit your vinyl on there you can adjust these to kind of like lock the roll of vinyl in place it just adds some tension on the vinyl for example if I took this vinyl right here and I put it down on this wheel I'll push this I got one right here I'll push this right here against this and I'll put this against here and it keeps that in place so it's not moving back and forth like this. And then the vinyl shiny side down goes into the uh, graph tech machine, okay? When it's open, all right? So that's how you pretty much load it from the back. Here's a power cord right here, all the way down on this side right here. Um, over top of the vinyl roller, you have a little panel right here that holds some miscellaneous items like extra blades and stuff like that. It's a little drawer right here. It's not a drawer, but it's just an open container that you can sit stuff in. Right on the side, you got 
there are USB, um, actually you got, yeah, a USB, you have another USB, like the type that goes into the printer, this type right here, along with a regular type of uh, USB, and a uh, Ethernet port right here, all right, so you got those on the side right here, and what I didn't know about this thing is you have to actually change the setting in the menu on the screen up here to tell it which port you want it to read or else it won't work. All right, that'll have you stuck for days, okay? And on the other side of our GraphTech is our power, all right? Power switch, Let's turn that on and the GraphTech turns on, all right? And it's a little bit loud. It's not that loud, but it's when it cuts, it's way quieter than the Cameo and it's way faster, but you know, it is what it is. All right, so let me act like I'm loading some vinyl, right? So to load some vinyl, like I said, I'm going to put this wheel underneath this, as long as it's underneath this blue right here, I'm, I'm good. But you want it to be kind of like right on the edge and this head over here, and I'm gonna put the other wheel right on this blue. So push that over, and I want it to be right on the edge of that vinyl right here, all right? And my edge of vinyl, you notice these little ridges right here. The edge of this vinyl, I'm just lining up right here. All right, lining up right there. And now I can reach in the back and I can just lock that down. And now when I have it locked down, I can go ahead and position it. All right, now the menu is really, really weird, guys. Let me show you. I'm not gonna try to like, explain it to you in a way that's gonna make sense because the best way you can understand it is you just have to get in here and play with it. The main buttons you're gonna use is obviously these buttons right here, one, two, three, four, and those correspond with the selectors, one, two, three, right, in this case. Um, other buttons you're gonna use all the time is the condition button, the enter button to pick a selection, and the escape button to go back. So right now, I'm gonna hit button one and the machine is going to automatically find the edge of this vinyl. It's, it's, it's crazy, watch this. See that? It's, it's finding the edge of the vinyl. See how it sucked it in and found the absolute edge of the vinyl? That is crazy, right? Cameo can't do that, all right? So there's one benefit right there. Now the menu, what I was telling you guys, how you have to tell the machine um what port you want it to use all right so the way you do that i'm just hopping around is you go to menu right and then you go to link right here right and to select that you have to look at what's next to it like if you want to select tool option number one select arm option number two select three um select area option number three for media, so on and so forth. So this one, to select link, it's not push button either. I gotta select the uh, right arrow. So if I press right arrow, then you see right here that it navigates to the next menu right here. And you see on number one, I got USB selected. So if I press number one, I can toggle between USB drive, USB, or server LAN, which is the ethernet. But I had, to, I had to put mine on server USB for the machine to recognize that the USB, um, I'm going to uh, send the files to the machine via USB. If you don't do this, you'll be sending files from your computer. You have the USB cable connected and it will not do anything. All right. So I had to learn that the hard way. Just uh, showing you guys how difficult this could be to navigate guys all right so right now I hit, I hit escape and hit escape all right so to get back to the main menu right or I could hit men, menu right here and that'll take me back to the other mode that was in all right so now it's actually ready it's ready in condition one which is cutting the uh the, the condition that you want to use when it when you uh want to want to cut right all right, uh, very, very confusing stuff, guys. It's gonna be very confusing. All right, now, say for example, I wanna find 
a cut setting, right? I want to find like the cut setting for this specific vinyl I have. All right, so you're going to go, obviously, if you bought your stuff from Heat Transfer House and find the right cut settings that it recommends for the graph tech. But in the machine, you're going to go ahead and you're going to hit condition, right? And right here, you see what everything is set at. This is the speed, 35 centimeters per second. And this is the force, 16. I guess that's pounds of pressure or something. Now, I can do a test cut. To do a test cut, it's going to cut a little triangle. To do a test cut, you're going to hit this button right here, which is the arrow button over here. This, this, this is very complicated, guys. It's hard to do a video on this machine without, like, boring you guys to death. But, I mean, it is what it is. I'm not going to um, go through these menus. I'm going to start answering questions specifically. So let me just uh, show you guys how fast this thing cuts once I hook up my computer. I'm just going to just go into that, and I'll, I'll do stuff one by one because... This device is very, very confusing, to be honest with you, um, and it just took me a while to get used to it. All right, some of you guys are going to be wondering, why GraphTech? Why would I ever want to switch from a Cameo to GraphTech? And I thought the same thing because I've been using Cameo for a while, and even early on when people in the comments tried to tell me, get yourself a real cutter, I didn't know what they were talking about. I thought, like, a cutter's a cutter. But GraphTech, here, here, here's a few reasons few reasons rather um, I can send designs straight from Photoshop or Illustrator directly to the graph tech no silhouette studio and no other program directly from Illustrator I can create my silhouette or my, my design with the layers and stuff send it directly from uh, Illustrator or Photoshop to the graph tech cutter so I created a quick little design in Illustrator real fast that I'm going to send to the cutter just to show you guys and demonstrate how this thing works. All right, so you got your design right here. I simply, oh, I simply just go up here to File, Cut Master 4. That's the plugin that you're going to download so, you, so you, your uh, cutter can communicate with Illustrator or Photoshop, right? And then I just press cut plot and it's going to open up the cut master program cut master 4 and there you are there's our design right here and we're going to arrange it so that everything is together and it sends the job all right so in cut master 4 this is the setup before you send it to your graph tech and this program right here is powerful guys that's the best way I can I can I can explain it to you like for example like you have the control to you have the ability to control your design size right here so I can make it bigger right in here or I can make it smaller right from here right so you know how in silhouette studio you have to duplicate things and you have to lay things out the way you want it to lay out um, in this Say, for example, I want to do two of these. I can just go and press this button right here. And it'll lay it out on the vinyl. Like, because when I, when I told the device, when I set up the program in Illustrator, I told it how big my, my vinyl was. I set, it, I set it 12 inches wide. So right now, as I press up to make more copies, it's just populating on the screen by itself, right? And it's already arranged in here where it's like each each part is separate. So like it'll help me weed it easier. Like like it's it's there's so many different functions in here. It's it's just ridiculous. But I'm going to I'm just going to do one for right now. I'm going to make it big. Actually, no, I'm going to do a few of them. Matter of fact, let me make it smaller and I'm going to do more of them. Um front chest that should be about I don't know maybe make it for five or you could dial it in I'm gonna make it 4.97 right and I'm gonna duplicate it I'm gonna make a few more all right so I'll make that many of them right and what else you can do is you can go in here and you can go ahead the same way you do in silhouette studio if I had different colors you can deselect and press which which color you wanted to print and stuff like that this it's the same thing right or you can go in here and you can 
under right here, you can press the weed border. See the weed border? That's why it has those little lines on there. If I deselect that, it took away, so hold on, let me see. Horizontal weed lines. See, it took away the weed lines. So the weed lines are helping me, is gonna help me weed it. Um, if the, Silhouette doesn't have that as far as I know. The vertical weed lines, I can take all that off and it'll take all that stuff away or I can leave it on there. Um, weed border is just gonna put a border around the whole thing to help me know exactly where to weed. So, guys, this is very, very helpful right here. All this is very, very helpful. Um, I, I, it, there's so many good tools in here. I don't know, right? So I'm gonna send this thing to cut so that you guys can see how fast this thing cuts compared to your Silhouette Cameo, right? And you have the ability to make it cut faster and it's, it's way more accurate too. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna press send, but I'm gonna angle the camera that way so you guys can see it. All right, so I'm about to press send. I want you guys to pay attention to how smooth, how accurate, and how fast this thing cuts, all right? I'm gonna press send right now. Oh, I gotta exit this condition, sorry. All right, here we go. I was still in the testing phase condition of the uh, of the software. I mean, of the the device. But look how fast that's cutting. Look at that. It's ridiculous. And it's super, super accurate, guys. And I made it too wide. I made it four across, but I don't have room for four across, so I'm actually going to stop it. I don't have this thing down packed yet, guys, but I'll get it down packed soon. So it already finished this one. Now it's going to do this one, and then I'm going to stop it after this one. All right. Actually, it's not going to go over here because, because it knows that it can't go over here. All right. Look at that. It knows that it can't go past this line right here, so it's not going to go past that line, which is pretty dope. It started cutting it, but it, see, it saw that it couldn't, so it didn't do it. So now it's just going down and cutting the next one. This is, this is crazy, guys. It's a game changer. It's a game changer. It helps you weed in everything. But already I got one, two whole ones done. Look how fast. And this is like a regular speed. This is not even like turned up high speed, guys. And um, it took me a while to adjust the blade. I'm not going to lie to you guys. It took me a while to figure out how to adjust the blade. And I can make a video showing you guys how to do that. Um, and it's, it's, I'm still learning it. I'm still learning it. So it's going to take me a while to learn how to adjust things. But what I do know is you can still use your Cameo's cutting mat. So like for your scraps and stuff like that, because this does use access material. Like it does use more material. It does use like, um, you know, it'll, and look, just like that is done, right? So I'm just going to go ahead and... Um, I can go ahead and press up right here on the thing and I'm going to take it out and we're going to weed it. Let me, let's see, let me show you guys how easy it weeds. All right. Weed test. But just like the silhouette guys, if you have the right cut settings, it's, um, it cuts easy. It weeds easily, but I don't know if you guys see all the little squares, but it has like the little borders, all the weed lines to help me weed, weed it properly. But guys, what the benefits of this is knowing where to weed, right? It has the lines, it can, it can, you can opt to put the lines in there for you so you know exactly where to weed. Um, once you get the right cut settings, it's super, super crazy fast. You see the efficiency, you see how fast you can make stuff, right? Uh, this is a game changer, guys. It works with Illustrator, so I don't have to make my design. If I wanna make an intricate design in Illustrator and it's like a silhouette, I don't have to then put it inside Silhouette Studio and then trace it. 
right? Or, or export as a vector and then trace it or whatever you do in Silhouette Studio, right? You can send it to cut directly from Silhouette Studio and look how easy this is weeding. You saw how fast that cut out. How long would that have taken in Silhouette Studio to cut something out like this, right? Who is the Graph Tech for? If cutting vinyl, doing window decals, if you do a whole lot of shirts in your business, if cutting vinyl is your main business, then you, the Graph Tech would be good for you. If you're still just a hobbyist and just playing around with the stuff and you make a shirt every now and then, the Graph Tech is not for you. It's not worth the investment. But if you want to maximize your productivity, if you want, um, if you want ease of use after that learning curve, if you want to be able to make more intricate designs easier because you, you're a graphic designer and you cut vinyl, then the Graph Tech is definitely for you. You're going to enjoy sending designs directly from Photoshop or from Illustrator directly to the Graph Tech, right? And you're not sending those intricate designs with colors, and of course not. You're, selling, you're sending silhouettes, but Photoshop and Illustrator. Illustrator specifically, you can make more detailed silhouettes and Illustrator has more more features in it that silhouette is silhouette studio is just difficult to do right and you you if you're tired of dragging stuff in the silhouette and sometimes you can't trace it that good Illustrator's the the graph tech is the way to go all right so that's what's for I hope that helped answer that question for you it's night and day there's no comparison there's no comp absolutely no comparison with the speed the way the machine moves, how accurate the machine is, uh, hands down, there's no, absolutely no comparison. This is like, the Silhouette Cameo is like uh, Microsoft Paint. Like, like if you're comparing Microsoft Paint to Adobe Photoshop, that, that's what it is. The Silhouette Cameo is Microsoft Paint, the Graph Tech is, is, is uh, Photoshop. The Silhouette Cameo is a flip phone, and the Graph Tech is an iPhone. Graph Tech Superman and the cameo is like a guy that lifts weights, <laughs> right? That's that's the best other comparison I can make. But I'm out of here. I'm, I'm done, guys. Thank you so much for watching. It's your boy Alan Wade. Sorry for it to uh, go on so long. I'll talk to you guys on the next video. Peace. Turn up that, crank it up. While I listen to the rest, when you're rocking with the best, baby.